Hello, this is Norma and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and hit the notification. So every time I post, you'll be notified. Today we're going to be making some fried Liberian eggplant. Okay, so I have some green spring onions. I have some red onions. I have some habanero peppers and some parsley. So let me get this to the sink and wash it. So these are the eggplants. They come in all sizes, but I got some and I got them um, through Amazon Fresh. So I couldn't pick it myself because it's coronavirus time. So I would have gotten one that wasn't so soft, but that's the best I could do. For today I'm going to be using some smoked turkey wings that's been cut up. I have some smoked herring that I'm going to put into strips that I have to soak in water. I have some beef strips with bones. And I have fish. This is barracuda that's been smoked. And I'm going to put it to soften it because it's hard, but to put, I'm going to put it in some hot water and that's going to soften it up to strip it. Okay, so now I'm going to cut some spring onions. And I got, I'm going to transfer it into my pot and I'm going to put my meat. And I'm going to season it. I have my nor seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit. I have some the onion powder. I have some black pepper, a little bit of salt, and I usually um, take my fresh ginger and I usually uh, blend it with some olive oil and I keep it in the fridge. So I'm going to put a lot of that, a little bit of that in there. I have, you can use any kind of oil, but I'm using canola oil. I'm going to put a little bit and just so and put it on the stove. So now I put it on the stove and I've put my um, stove on high and I'm going to let it fry down a little bit before I put some um, water in there to cook the meat. While I'm doing that, let me start cutting up my onions. And it's about this size. And then I have the red onion. Okay, let me show you. The meat has started to Fry. It's on the steam. And that's what I want. And now I'm going to add some water. And put some more water. So I poured enough water in to get my meat to cook. So it depends on what kind of meat you're cooking. If you're doing chicken, obviously it's not going to be a long time. And the turkey is already steamed and so it's not going to take, it's smoked, so it's not going to take too long to cook. So that should be enough water to cook all my meat down. So I have the herring soaking in some warm water because it's very, very salty. So now I'm going to bring it. And you don't have to put herring, but I love herring in my, um, in my eggplant. So I'm cutting it up in small pieces. About this size. About this size. The one that I cut up, I'm going to fry with the eggplant. And these are the two, I'm just going to drop it in the pot. 
that had the water boiling with the meats. So the eggplant. I'm going to wash it well. Even though you're going to cut the skin off, you still got to wash it very, very well. And the eggplant, you have to take the skin off. And this is how you peel it. You make sure you get all the skin off. So now that we cut all the skin off the eggplant, I'm about to cut it up into cubes. So I cut it that way and you just need to make sure that when it fries, it fries down so you don't um, do it too large in the pieces. So this is about the size that I'm cutting. So now we've done chopping up all the eggplants, we're going to check on the meat and see how it's going. So the meat is coming along. Remember I told you we will put the dry barracuda in some uh, warm water to soften it up. So I put it in some warm water and it's going to sit for a little bit. You see it's breaking up. Yeah. So let it sit a little bit in the warm water and I'm going to start um, frying my eggplants. So I put about a cup of oil and I put the stove on and now we're going to wait for it to get a little hot. So now that the oil is hot, we're going to add the smoked herring. Now I have my smoked herring frying and I'm going to dump all my other um, onions and parsley in there to fry. So now we're going to season, but remember I have put some seasoning in my meats and the herring had a little bit of, um, even though I washed it and um, with warm water, it still had a little bit of salt. So you have to be careful, but I can't tell you exactly how much to do because you have to season the taste. Some people have pressure and so I can't exactly say uh, exactly the measurement. If you taste it and you think it's salty enough, you don't have to add some more. So I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. That would say maybe half a teaspoon. And the Norris seasoning. Maybe it's about two teaspoons. And a little bit of salt. And if you think it's too much, like I said, you can't omit it. So this I'm going to fry. Fry down maybe about 10 minutes before I add my eggplant. So now we're going to put the eggplant, but I want to show you what the onion and parsley looks like. So now I'm going to add the eggplant. And you see that eggplant is sucking up the oil, but as it fries, um, it's going to release some of the oil. And you just keep stirring it around, make sure the oil and um, the onions and everything gets coated as it fries. I wish you could smell the aroma. It smells so good. <laughs> you can eat it with rice. You can eat it with cassava, you can eat it with edibles, you can eat it with plantain. There's so many things we eat it, but today I'm going to make rice. So it's all in the pot and it has to fry down. It might take about 30 minutes to fry, um, but we'll see. I will keep checking and I will show you what the consistency looks like and you will know when it's completely fried down. So remember I told you about the barracuda. So now you can see it's all open up. It's not hard anymore. So I'm going to put some cold water in this. And 
and take some of the barracuda. I'm not going to use all of them. You could if you wanted to, but I'm not. So I, I got about half of it. And I'm going to take the skin off. And I'm just going to break it up and you don't have to have it in any specific size. So I'm going to break it up and put it in the meat that was cooking. And that's if you like fish. I like fish so and this is dried. You can get this, um, I got this all the way from Liberia, but you can get them in any um, African store or some Spanish stores. You can get um, dry barracuda. So I'm looking at my turkey and it seemed like um, it needs a little bit more water. So I tried it. So I'm going to add a little bit more water um, to dry. Like I said, it depends on what you put in because if you put chicken, it won't take that long. And so I'm just going to add a little bit more water to my, um, to my meat that's boiling my fish. How about this much? Maybe it's another cup. But you can tell when you have enough um, water because when you try, you can take like a fork and you try to push your meat, you'll tell if it can go through and when it's all done. So let me come back to my eggplant and see how it's going. So you just have to keep stirring it and turning it around and as you turn it around you're trying to cook through it and you're trying for it to break up so it wouldn't be um, big the pieces. So like I told you it might uh, cook down maybe um, 30 to 35 minutes but we'll see. So while we're away, I switched stoves because the meat is almost done. So I brought it to this one, and this one is a lot um, larger pot, and I need to fry more. So I switched it and brought it on the other side. And it's frying coming along good. And as you can see, the meat is boiling down. I'm not going to let it boil all the way down. We're going to leave some water in there and put this in there to finish cooking and drying out. So I'm frying it still. And when it's time to um, go back in the meat, I'll be back. So it's been about 30 minutes. And first I want you to look at the meat because you have to have some water in there. When I'm done, it's going to be all dry. So there's some water that's still in there cooking. And you see the eggplant is where I want it to be. It's all soft, but you still see like some chunks, but it's all soft. So I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to add it to the meat. So maybe this will cook for another 25 minutes because I want all the water to dry and I only want the um, eggplant to be cooked down. So I'll be back and show you the final one with the rice and the cream. <laughs> so now it's been about 30 minutes and the eggplant is done. So let me show you what it looks like. And we cut the stove off. So this is what it's looking like. All the water is gone. And this is what it looks like. And it's just the meat and the oil. And I'll be back to show you how I garnish my rice and my eggplant. Put some of the eggplant on the side. And now this is eggplant, fried eggplant, and rice garnish with a little parsley and I hope you try my recipe.
I hope you enjoy and try the recipe and make sure you subscribe and like and hit the notification button for my next video.